All right, today we are going to demonstrate two different ways that you can check the pH of your sushi rice. Now, it's important to know the pH of your sushi rice because in many states, sushi rice must be under between 4.1 and 4.6 to be considered safe. If it's under 4.1, there are certain pathogens that grow in it, and over 4.6, there are other pathogens. I recommend that you check with your local health department to find out the specific rules that they have to have for your sushi rice, but the general rule of thumb is between 4.1 and 4.6. So today we've got two different pH meters to show you. One is our AquaShock, which is a handheld, shock-resistant, waterproof pH meter, which would be perfect for a kitchen environment. And the other one is one of our pH pens. Again, it's waterproof and drop-proof as well, and it would also work very well in the kitchen. Now we have used, with the AquaShock, we are using a spear tip pen, Probe, and the reason why we are using a spear tip probe is because it is specifically designed to go into hard surfaces such as rice or cheese or even meat. Now we have calibrated both of our meters with pH 4 and pH 7 as you can see back here. So we know that the readings that we are going to be getting on our meters are, is accurate. So to show you how easy it is to use a spear tip probe, again all I'm going to be doing is sticking it in to your rice. Now most sushi restaurants at states that require this would check almost every batch and keep a log of it. And as you can see, this rice is right around 3.8, 3.9, this particular batch. Now to use a pen, you have to use a slurry. In order to create a slurry, you have to take a quarter cup of rice and three quarters cups of the Isonaz water in order to make the slurry and you blend it up as we've done here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the pH pen and stick it into our slurry so you can see it's reading. As you can see, this particular batch of rice has an awful lot of vinegar in it. So it went up to 5.8, but now it's coming in. And kind of in the slurry, you have to kind of move it around a little bit and find that nice little sweet spot for you. So about 4.4 where we would say this particular batch came in. So we have one batch where the amount of vinegar is correct and the other batch is incorrect. If you want more information about pH meters and how to use them, please go to speardirect.com and you can see our whole line of products.